Namaskaram. Who is Yogi? Let's see from this story. Once upon a time, there was a sannyasi or a sage. He traveled to many kingdoms and preached the people. He teaches, if you want to attain salvation or moksha, one needs to give away everything they own. That person should not have desire on anything. That person should not think of next minute in his life. Should not store anything for future. That person should not tell who he is to anyone. He should do meditation or dhyanam with peace and no desires. If they do all these, that person can attain moksha after his life. The sannyasi teachings were good. However, it was very difficult for people to understand and follow. One day, Magatha Raja was inspired with the sannyasi teaching. He gave away all his kingdom and went to forest for meditation. In the same way, Kamboja Raja was also inspired by the same sannyasi and went to forest for meditation. He also gave away everything he had. In the forest, both kings met each other. But they didn't tell each other that they were kings. They both go to nearby town to get bhiksha, that is food, from the people in the town. According to sannyasi rule, they have to eat the food that day itself without storing for the future. One day, they both got only rice porridge or kanji. Both sat in the forest and started drinking. Kamboja Raja commented to Magatha Raja that porridge would be better if there was some salt for the taste. Then Magatha Raja told that he had some salt. Kamboja Raja questioned, where did you get the salt from? Magatha Raja replied that he had picked some salt from the Bojanam. He had taken some salt with him in case he needed in the future. After that, Kamboja Raja told Magatha Raja that he has given his whole empire but he was unable to keep up the rule that they should not store anything for the future. Then Magatha Raja replied that he also left his kingdom but was not able to control his taste. Both were shocked and realized that they broke the rules. At this time, they both understood the true meaning in the teachings of sannyasi. They both returned to their kingdom and started their duties as kings. They both ruled with love, peace and harmony. Even though they were king, they were never involved in luxurious life of a king and were totally detached. At the end of their life, they attain moksha. What we learn from this story? There is no need to go to forest and do meditation. It can be achieved by doing all duties without any attachment. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna told, He who does his duty without expecting the result are said to be sannyasi or yogi, not the one who has simply renounced the fire or given up all the activity. Easiest way is to do Nishkama Karma Yogam and surrender to God. If they do so, they will not be attracted or attached to the benefits of karma. Lord also added, if we surrender all our duties and results to him, he shall absolve us from all sins. So, no need to worry at all. So, we also just surrender to God and pray with full devotion and dedication to seek the blessings. Sarvam Krishna Arpanam Astur